right, we'll wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> How much easier is it to work on situational stuff being on the field this early in the game as opposed to last year? Yeah, I mean, it's practice. You know, I mean, you know, um, you can actually practice. So, you know, guys go out, guys do good things, they do bad things. You can go back in, you can correct it. You know, coaches can um, see what guys do well, think through situations. So, uh, whether it's red zone or third down or base offense or two minute or anything, you know, we're uh, obviously being in the field to major advantages here. You've had a pretty uh, strong turnout these two weeks, at least when we've been out here. Any concern about Robbie's absences? I'm, 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 you know, I, I, Everyone on the team, it's personal, it's voluntary to be here, and the guys that are here, we're going to coach them, and you know, we love everybody that's on the team. So. Um, the guys that are here, we're just going to keep working with them, and uh, the guys that aren't here, we'll work with them in training camp. Do you expect Robbie to be at the mini camp? Well, I, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I have no reason to think otherwise. And then Daquan was the other one absent today. Who's your last name for anything specific? Yeah, a lot of guys are dealing with different things. You know, they're dealing with like either you know personally or business wise or family wise or all that. So um, you guys know I try to do a good job of not divulging people's stuff that they have going on. But um, yeah, I mean, so, you know, like we had, I think you know one day we might have two more, two lefts. I mean, you know, but we're always you know, there's a lot of guys here. And the, you, did you add in like an extra bit of the end there? Was that just kind of? No, okay. no, no, no. I just wanted, you know, uh, we had planned to do all three groups at the end, and then you know, Shaq and those guys were yelling at the beginning, so I wanted to do it at the beginning just to get practice up and running. And in the rain, did you think about going inside at all, or is that kind of? Nope. Not at all. Matt, you talked about Jeremy Chin last week, um, but if you decided to move him more to play more safety, what is the advantage of that for you guys um, in doing that? Um, I mean, he's just a good player, so I think wherever you put him, you know, I mean, he's obviously he would be a big safety. You know, he can cover tight ends. He can uh, go fit the run, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's rare to have a guy that big at that size and that, that, that intelligence level. But it's really hard right now because he's so limited in terms of what he's doing. But, um, um, you know, he's, to me, he's, like I said before, he's one of those guys who can fill a lot of different roles for us. And you get guys like him and Shaq and a bunch more, it just, it just uh, diversifies what you can do. Is that a definite thing or something you can strongly consider, and where is it that? I mean, well, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, you might do it, and then all of a sudden get to camp, and he's not comfortable there, right? So it's it's hard to move someone in with, without um, seeing them, you know, seeing them play. And, and like I said, he played, if you go back to some games last year, he played 30, 30 40 snaps at safety. So uh, it's just kind of, you know, since since we're in the offseason, since he can't do it, just uh, he's meeting a little bit more on the safety part because he's already done the linebacker part. When did he catch your eye last year? Was it really early, or was it? Into the games or really. as a player, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I met them all. I met all the guys like July 24, right. so it was kind of hard. But I, I think coming in, um, you know, Coop kept telling me, "Hey, there's this guy. You got to check him out. You got to check him out." So, um, you know, went to the Senior Bowl, saw him. Uh, obviously, we had a strong, strong feeling for him, and uh, he's he's been everything so far that we've expected. You had a transaction yesterday, bringing a receiver that the time ago. What do, you, what do you know about the receiver? Uh, you know, well, just uh, you know, CJ, obviously a good, good player at Ohio State, on returner. Um, you know, I think right now where we are, we just just uh, need need a couple more receivers in, in camp. And um, you know, this is a time where we're going to see as many people as possible and um, allow uh, you know some guys who come in and done a really good job, maybe aren't here, but maybe they'll be back with us in training camp. It's just for us an opportunity to you know see as many people and build the best roster we can going into. Matt, what do you like about what you guys have done with the tight end room, and what would you like to see from that position, especially in the past game? Um, well, I mean, I, I like, you know, obviously I think Ian Ian has had a tremendous offseason. Let me say that first. Like, he, he looks he looks explosive. He looks athletic. He looks like if you're talking about a guy that's really had a good offseason, I would say it would be Ian, Tom, uh, Ian Thomas. And uh, he's more comfortable with, with what he's doing. Um, you know, Dan Arnold obviously brings a receiving threat to us. Uh, Tommy, we're excited to see what he can do. Um, so for me, it's it's um, it, it's hard to say exactly you know what we'll see until we get him in pads. But I think we have a group that can get open, that can catch the football, that can also block. And um, you know, obviously, we'd like them to be a little bit more of a presence in the passing game um, than it was last year. Especially you know, since losing Curtis, you know, um, you know. Hopefully, someone that can help in the middle of the field would be would be great. I know you don't really have an idea until they put the pads on, but what are your first impressions of what you've done reworking the left tackle position? Yeah, I mean, uh, Cam Irving's a guy. That... I'm cursed every time I ask. Uh, 
Um, you know, Camry's a guy that we really like his traits, his physical ability, and I'm glad that he's here right now because he's getting a lot of work. Um, Dennis Daly's a guy we know can do both. Uh, Greg Little, so there's a lot of guys that we feel good about. Trent Scott's in red right now, but we know he can swing both sides. So um, we're happy with we're happy with where we are. We just have to get the pads and preseason games and just see you know who exactly you know let them go compete it out and see who be out to beat out who. Matt, were there a couple things with Ian last year that kind of holding him back from kind of taking the next step? I would say I would say this to be quite honest. I think I said that to you guys a couple times, and sometimes things sound like coach speak. I know, but like. You know, like, we're, we're getting a chance, like, you know, he catches 40 or 50 balls every day from us, and so he has a chance every every rep to have Ange be out there, so, you know, Coach Angelico, like, do this. And so I just think for Ian, you know, coming from one system into another system last year, he he was just kind of eating it, you know, taking it as, a, you know, as it came. And now he has a chance to really, really, really um, delve into the details of what we do. So I think this is the most important thing for him, because I think it just, for him it's just about having a feel for, you know, what we're asking him. Obviously, she was wearing a red jersey right now, and it is a little limited. But when you're carving out a role from him behind Christian, how do you envision that looking? Or even for the other backup running backs, how does that? How do you plan that out? Yeah, I don't. I don't think you can car. I don't think in your mind you can carve out a role for someone who's hurt before yeah. you've seen them. Fair so I, to me, you know, Chuba's got to get healthy. Um, for you know, for the other guys, obviously, you know, we would we we know Christian's a weapon. Um, we would love to. You know, uh, Add to his add to his portfolio by having another back, so that you know we don't overwork him, um, and then we can be flexible with him. So, Rodney Smith is another guy I think that came back in really really good shape. Uh, Reggie Bonifant's healthy now, so there's some guys there that we have history with, and then we we brought in obviously Chuba, but then um, a couple other guys as well. So, uh, it, it'll be a good competition I think in camp to see you know not only not only are guys competing to see like who's the number two, but what that number two's role is. And uh, days like today, two minute, all that stuff, that, that helps. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, go ahead. I was just going to say, I have to ask, I, what's Chuba dealing with? Was it something he came in with? Anything? No, no, he, he, uh, he had a soft tissue injury. Boys. Matt, you mentioned running on the short at receiver, requiring you to make a transaction. Do you guys have a clear sense now on Terrace? I mean, he was out here, Ricky Minicamp, and then in and out. Uh, where is he in that? In yeah, I mean, Terrace, pro I mean, you know, we, we, we had a really clear plan with Terrace. Like, um, we want to get him. We want to get him super healthy. And when I say super healthy, like sometimes, like you're you're cleared, but you know, um, as our guys do the diagnostics, they say like, hey, you know, this could get hurt eventually. So we're, we 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 came in with a plan to just get him ready for training camp. Um, he's doing a good job in the meetings. He, you know, he's still out here for walkthroughs and things like that. But we are just kind of like we're doing with Chin and those guys, just getting getting him as healthy as possible. You know, he had a couple injuries in college, and so. Um, we want to make sure he's whole before we start the season. But so training camp is kind of the point at which you think yeah. he... That's the plan. Yeah. You talked about how much OTAs has helped Ian Thomas. Are there any other players that stick out to you um, that have kind of, you see, made, made a leap during this period? Yeah, I would I would first say all of them, you know, just because we didn't have it last year. Maybe Probably for the coaches as much as anything. But um, that's a really good question. My goodness. Um, <laughs> You know, I think obviously for the quarterbacks, you know, even like those those reps right there, like dealing with blitzes, dealing with pressure, dealing with running around. I think guys like Sam Franklin, um, you know, uh, you know, to, uh, it, back in the uh, secondary, I'm trying to think of Kenny Robinson, guys that, you know, had to play last year and got kind of forced into playing. Now they have a chance to step back and really learn. So I think all the young players are really benefiting. And then, you know, the new additions, you know, the guys that we brought in, I think, um, uh, in free agency, that it's been really good for them as well. But I'd say that you know the guys in the secondary um, really gelling together and allowing us to use a lot more tools. What have been your initial thoughts about how Sam has dealt with again limited adversity just because of the situation, but but how he's dealt with adversity his first little bit here? In, 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 terms, in terms of, of it, just like if uh, like he throws a pick or doesn't make a mistake, that I, kind I mean, of thing. I mean, he's, I, mean there's no, I don't think there's any question about Sam's mental toughness. You know, I just think um, I think he handles adversity pretty well. Um, but he's, I mean, he's also had a good camp so far, you know. I mean, there's just not a ton of super competitive stuff yet. yet. You know, none of the quarterbacks have been hit yet. So, um, you know, we'll see. Like I said, we'll see you in training camp. Obviously, we're doing team periods against each other. You know, there's some ups, there's some downs for everybody. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the true mark of all these guys, coaches, players, everyone, is, is how they respond to adversity. And um, I have no questions about Sam that way. Have you seen Brian Burns start to take on like a leadership type role as he gets older? Um, you know, I thought you saw Brian take that role on in the middle of last year. I thought Brian did a good job of, of starting to become more vocal. 
Um, I think the one thing he's doing right now is, um, you know, he's, he's a little bit banged up, so he can't do everything, but he's really, he's really focused on trying to get better in what he can do. And I think, you know, a lot of guys think of leadership as like a position. To me, it's if you're willing to be coached, if you're willing to hold yourself accountable, if you're willing to say, hey, that's on me, and if you're willing to work really hard. And so Brian's doing those things, so I'm sure he's someone that a lot of guys will follow. How much of a difference can it make for him having Hassan here this year? Well, I mean, I think uh, anytime you have, uh, you know, guys on the other side that can bring pressure, um, it helps you. You have pressure on the interior. And I, I like the whole group. You know, Marquis Haynes, you know, I think he had four, four or five sacks last year. Um, Frankie Lou was the guy we brought in that I think has been, you know, really, really, really a pleasant, you know, addition for us. We knew we liked him, but Frankie's done a really good job. So I think in between all those guys. And, you know, sounds funny for me because, you know, I coached him in, I coached him in college, but like Al Holcomb, and Don Johnson, our defensive staff, you know, they coached him his rookie year in Arizona. And to see how far he's come as a player, you know, he's always been a good person, but he's just such a leader right now, such a mature guy. We really helped our team, like guys like A.J. Boye. Um, I mean, those guys are true pros, and that, that's really what we want to have in the building, and that's, uh, that's helped us. That's it.